Hi, Chanel from Tips and Tricks HQ here, and in this short tutorial, we'll look at how you can use the simple Download Monitor and Manager plugin, as well as the Secure Downloads add-on, to create not only a download, but also a download that once clicked on redirects to another page. An after download redirection is useful if you wish to explain more about the downloadable item, or if you wish to upsell another item after the user has downloaded the free version. Once you have completed this video tutorial, you will have created a page or a post similar to the one on the screen now, which has a download now button where the user can download the item you're offering. So in this example, I'm only offering a beautiful wallpaper image, although once they click on my download button, it actually redirects them to a page where they can then purchase the HD version. So if I click on that download now button, I can open or save the image. And then I'm redirected to a page that explains how I can purchase the high definition wallpaper image. I've now landed in my WordPress dashboard where I'll show you the quick and easy process to create an auto after download redirection. So you'll need to go to your downloads menu, click on downloads and then add new. And you'll need to create your downloadable item. It's here if you scroll down that you'll also see the after download redirect section. It's here you'll need to copy and paste the URL of the page you wish your customers to be directed to after they click that download now button. So once you've completed all this, you've added in the other details you wish to about your downloadable item, you'll need to scroll to the top and you'll need to click that publish button. So you'll only be able to have this option down here to add an after download redirect if you have the secure downloads add-on. If you don't have the secure downloads add-on, you will not see an option for after download redirect and you'll need to jump on and grab that add-on. So once you've published out your downloadable item, if you click on the downloads menu from there, you'll see that it'll be on that page here. So here's my Seascape image downloadable item that I configured earlier. So once you've completed your downloadable item, it's now time to put that on a post or a page. So if I go to my pages menu, that's where I actually already have my beautiful wallpaper images page. So I'll click on that there to show you. From there, you'll need to add in the short code. This can be found on the Tips and Tricks HQ website under Simple Download Monitor. So you'll need to grab the short code that says SDM underscore hidden underscore download. Then you'll need to find your download ID. So I'll open up the downloads menu again, and I'll show you where you can find that ID. So in the ID column, you'll need to copy the ID of the product that you wish to add. So mine is 66. If I go back there to the short code, you can see that I've added in the ID 66. You might also like to add an image of the downloadable item and some descriptive text, as this short code will only produce the download now button. There's one more menu that I'd like to make note of. So if you go back to downloads and you click on the hidden downloads menu, and this again will only be there if you've got that secure downloads add-on, you can edit some things here such as default after download redirect timeout. So it's recommended that you leave three seconds between them clicking that download now button and the redirect occurring. So that allows enough time for the item to be downloaded. There's no point in them clicking on the download now button only to be redirected and miss out on actually getting the download. So three to five seconds is a good time period for the redirection to occur. So if you make a change there, just make sure you click that update button. So going back to my page, clicking on my beautiful wallpaper images, I've got my short code that links to that product ID 66 that we just created. And if I preview this page, you can see that I've got my download button followed by the text. I just added some text blocks there. So then if a user came to this page, they clicked that download now button, they're able to get their downloadable item and then within a few seconds, they're redirected to the URL that I stated in that edit download page. So that pretty much wraps up this tutorial on how you can have an after download redirection. This is perfect if you wish to sell a premium item such as a high definition wallpaper image after someone has just downloaded the free version. Alternatively, you might like to redirect someone to a products page where you have other products listed, or you might like to redirect them to 
your terms and conditions or privacy policy. If you have any further questions or queries, feel free to comment them below. I've also linked below the URL of our simple download monitor and manager plugin where you can find the secure downloads add-on.